Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are headed to Blairstown, New Jersey. Uh, this is a church yard sale that we're going to. It's not called a rummage sale, it's called a yard sale. I've never been here before, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. Um, it could be rummage style or it could be individuals, you know, with like each with their own table set up. So not really sure yet. We will find out once we get there. But yeah, another Thursday sale, which is awesome. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is the outside portion. I don't even think any of the workers are here yet. <laughs> it's just me and one other guy sitting in his truck in the parking lot so far. Um, yeah, so that's the outside. Not sure what's going on as far as the inside. Totally forgot to turn on my camera. She said we can make a pile out here before they open. We just can't pay yet. So I'm gonna take this flatware and I have a couple of things in my bag. I'll have to show you guys later. She said there's a bunch more stuff inside. Quick pop maker. I wonder if that's new. chargers these pop makers don't really go for anything anyhow there. It might not be bad if you need one. What's this? Like a hand painted. Oop. Fragranced veins. Wade, England. I don't know. It's got a hairline crack in it. Bugs. Let's see if this is a brand. Oh, it's not marked. It's like a felted, felted woman. It's interesting. Made in Taiwan. Mm, I've got my flatware. I need to go get another bag out of my car. I know, but then, but then you miss whatever. outside. Oops. 
Usually the DMC kind does. If you have like a lot of it. I mean, there's a lot there. Yeah, I just don't know about that brand. Because this is more for like the cruel stuff. I think the um, cross stitch would do better. Looks like a restaurant creamer. Neat vase, but it's chipped. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh. Let me see if there's any flatware in here. Nope. Oh god, I have this. I have this. It's probably Virginia Metalcraft, I believe, of the month. Look at that. Uh, five, because I don't think seven. 
<laughs> oh boy. And Tanya Milani. That is unbranded. Look at all these scissors, Yeah, I got I got scissors. Alrighty guys, let's get into this rummage sale haul. I feel like I have been on this couch a lot lately filming a lot of rummage hauls. Uh, so anyhow, this was a crazy one. Uh, I actually forgot to start filming filming in the beginning because um, the first lady that arrived on the scene, the first um, worker uh, that arrived on the scene said that you know we could go in and look around and just started doing that and wasn't even like thinking of filming at the moment i was just caught up in it so anyway they did have the outside section as you see and then they had the inside section which was pretty small i mean i would say out of the past three <laughs> uh this probably wasn't my favorite but it was still fun it was something to do on a thursday and i got some stuff let's let's get into it so i did pick up a couple things after I think, I think after I stopped filming, uh, I don't think I got this on camera. I'm not even sure. But anyway, this is an Antonio Milani dress. I don't even know what size this thing is. What size are you? Maybe it says it on here. It is a size eight. Um, it's new with tags. That's why I picked it up. And I would say like 40 to $50 for this plus shipping. It was originally $169. So I got this for five bucks. This right here is just uh, a loft outlet lounge. So it's just like basically like a pajama nightgown, I guess, kind of thing. Lounge wear. I don't know. This one, though, I am going to keep for myself for wintertime. Um, I did get this new inductive study Bible for a dollar. Doesn't seem like it does very well. It might go for 10 plus shipping. I did get one pair of shoes, one pair of Piccolinos, which is a uh, brand. I believe it's made in Spain. Piccolino's naturally good. They are a size 40, so that's probably like a US 9. I will have to look their size chart over again, but um, normally, um, normally it's like minus 31 and you get the US size, but every now and then different brands are a little bit different. Um, anyway, they have this really nice beaded design. However, I'm just noticing this one does have some heel wear. Someone might be able to fix that with some polish. I might even, I'll have to see if I have brown polish. I might be able to fix that. I don't know. It's kind of like on both of them. Uh, but yeah, so Piccolino's, I'm not even really sure. I think they were $2. I did pick this up. This is, I was grasping for straws or leaves, I guess you could say at this point. Uh, night. Does that say 1948? Chrysanthemum? Hmm. I'm not sure. Leaves of the Month by Virginia Metal Crafters. What month is this one? It must be. Oh, it's September. All right. So I'll have to check Leaves of the Month and see what they are selling for some of this stuff does surprisingly well so you never know um it looks like virginia metal crafters is sold at um museums and stuff like that uh colonial williamsburg historic charleston old salem so i mean 
I'm not going to discount this. And I think this is made out of brass. Yes. So this might actually do better than I expected. I don't know. I do like to pick up little brass things like this. Um, you know, things that people just normally wouldn't pick up, I guess you could say. Uh, if I can find comps on this or any of the other leaves of the month, I'll pop them up on the screen here. Uh, I did grab this Guess little green backpack. Guess doesn't really ever sell super well for me. However, I don't sell a lot of it. I don't pick it up very often, but I do love this color green. Like, love it. It is pretty much the same color as that Lululemon belt bag that I got. So I did pick this up and I will get it listed. Um, there's a small spot on the bottom. The interior looks pretty darn clean. I don't know, I'd say probably 15, 20 bucks on that. Uh, and then this is a Department 56 Jambon Pig Mug. I don't know, I thought it looked unique. These look like they sell between 10 and $15 plus shipping. I got two packs of these. These were $3 a piece. These are Sweeney's Mole and Gopher Sonic Spikes. So these look like they are selling for about $30 a box plus shipping. So you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with that kind of, uh, kind of profit. I picked up a Blazer International backup light. So you would like shove this in where your toe hitch goes, I think. I'm not even really sure. I don't know, but these look like they're selling for about $19.99 plus shipping. So I picked that up. I think that was like a couple bucks. Um, this right here is a Vilroy and Bach winter design knife um, plate. And there's only one in here. Ooh, only one plate. And it's not like a dinner plate or anything. That This um, pattern is made in dinnerware, but this is just the one that you would hang on your wall. So I don't remember what these go for, but I, it's not like a crazy amount. But this was a dollar. And then I did pick up this Finger Lakes Coffee Roasters. Um, it's like a diner style mug. Sometimes these can be popular. And Finger Lakes, um, New York, seems like a pretty like popular like touristy area, I wanna say. Um, so I'm thinking this might do okay. I don't know if this coffee roaster place is still in business or whatever, but I figured I'd give this, give it a shot. And dylankendall.com i don't know these look like they've been used they need it they need a gentle cleaning <laughs> you guys remember that one uh wasn't that long ago anyway these i thought were unique they are unique just little but they're dirty little footed literally literally footed salt and pepper shakers for 75 cents so i'm like yeah why not never heard of the dylan and kendall brand i'll have to look that up Lastly, I got, I've seen a lot at the top of my head. Lastly, I picked up a set of flatware. Maybe I should have, I probably should have left this. It's not like super exciting to me. It's, it's Oneida and it is the cheaper model. You can feel the weight. Um, someone did ask me in the comments. I haven't even had time to answer all my comments. Well, I never get around to all of them, but anyway, someone asked me, uh, you know, kind of like the criteria I look for for flatware. Um, I usually try to pick up the stuff that feels heavier, that has a little more weight to it. That indicates quality. Uh, there are certain brands that are quality. You know, you're gonna, you know, we're talking Reed and Barton, Lennox, um, Pottery Barn, but Pottery Barn most of the time is not marked Pottery Barn, so you just have to kind of know the pattern. Um, there's a lot of Oneida that will do well. Um, oh, I mean, you know, those are just some of the run of the mill on top of my head, on the, off the top of my head, but um, there, there are so many. But so I look for the weight. I look at the design, um, you know, even if it's a pattern that I don't immediately know when I see it. Um, if it's something that's appealing to me or unique, I'll pick it up. Uh, and most times I have luck with that. Um, you know, this one I will list, but I, like I said, I'm not super excited about it. 
Um, actually, a couple of these pieces feel like they're a little bit heavier than some of the others. Uh, this, this pattern does have a couple of variations. It's got like, there's a sand, which is like a frosted kind of handle. This one does not seem to be that. So I can't remember the exact pattern name, but I've sold something very similar. But yeah, this is not... This is not a high-end set. I spent I spent $3 on it, and there are some pieces that don't even match. What I like about the thing that it's in, it's like expandable, this bamboo thing, and it looks really clean. I really like that. I might actually, I don't know if I can take that home with me or not. My drawers are a mess at home, but maybe I'll take it home and use it um, after I get this flatware set out of here. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, it was still another fun rummage. That's going to wrap it up for this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.